Hey Rotary Swing Golfers, welcome back. I'm your instructor Chris Tyler and if you've been battling with possibly some stability issues in your golf swing or maybe even losing your balance, then I got one really simple tip today that's going to help you get much more stable and have a much more balanced golf swing just like the guys you see on TV. Okay, so you hear us talk quite a bit about the lower body adding lots of power to the golf swing, but Today I wanted to focus more on how important it is for stability and balance. So for those of you golfers that have been really struggling with maintaining your balance through the golf swing, I've got one really simple tip for you. And for those of you at home, I want you to go ahead and grab your pair of golf shoes or any of the shoes that you have that you wear on the golf course and I want you to check them out. And if you see that your shoes are rolled out on both sides or either side, then this tip is going to be extremely important to you for number one, for stability's sake and also safety's sake. So the common mistake that a lot of amateur golfers tend to make is when they're swinging, they're creating momentum and inertia, is they get rolled to the outside part of their foot. Now, from the trail foot perspective, so when we load into this side, if I get rolled way out onto my right foot here, then how am I going to recover from this position? Well, chances are I'm going to push very hard and I'm going to start to roll out past on my lead side. So what I want you to try and do from your address position, okay, when you go ahead and get your stance with, I want you just to roll your ankles in just slightly here. Okay, now by rolling your ankles in slightly, not your knees, you're gonna to start to feel some muscle contraction up here in your upper thighs, possibly back in your glute area as well. Those muscles are great for stability through the entire golf swing. So when you roll your ankles in, you should feel some muscle activation. And then your goal, when you shift your weight into your trail side, is to make sure that your weight stays to the inside portion of the trail heel, trail ankle area. Okay, so shift, you're gonna feel like your weight stays right into that trail side heel or ankle area. And then when you shift back over to the lead side, it's the exact same feel. You wanna to be to the inside portion of the lead heel, lead ankle. Do that during the entire golf swing and you'll have tons of stability and you'll see that you'll always stay in balance. So let's go ahead and try it out now. Go ahead and take your setup, roll the ankles in slightly, feel that muscle contraction. And then when I shift, I'm going to focus on keeping my weight to the inside portion of the right heel, right ankle. Okay guys, so thanks again for tuning into today's video. I really hope you guys get a lot of great success with this little tip here. Also, do me a favor, if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button down there for me below. If you have any questions or comments at all, please feel free to post those up and I'll help you out as best I can. Also, post up your results with this little drill. Let me know if you got some good results with it. Also, do me a favor and remember to subscribe to our channel by clicking on this button here on my hand. That way you get notifications anytime we put out any of our latest content. Let's get out there, let's play some great golf. Best to feel like the right side of your body is staying against this wall. So you're gonna have to think both sides of the body here. You wanna make sure that you're shifting left and as you're starting to push your heel into the ground, which is gonna help open your hips up, I want you to try your best to feel like you're keeping your, your right side of your body glued back to that wall. Okay, it's always going to try to come a little bit more forward than you think. And if, if those of you guys that